Welcome to the Figure Zone. I'll be doing reviews on the latest figures, older ones, third parties, customs, and some DIY tutorials to make your collection look even cooler. Please subscribe, like, and share if you'd like to see more awesome figure reviews and help you out in your collecting journey. Today we have the Ace Toys, Toys with a Z, the classic mighty superhero, CMSH-05 Pink Hero. This is the third party company of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Pink Ranger. Again, this is a third party company, so that means they don't hold the licensing to actually do the real Power Rangers. So these came out a little bit ago and uh, they're very cool. If you're not into non-licensed figures, that's cool. You can pass 3-0 is going to be making them very soon. Actually a little bit more cheaper too, but uh, I jumped on these while they came out because who knows if there anybody else is ever going to make those guys. So you got this and bam, there she is. This is everything that comes with the Pink Ranger. On top of the fisted hand she has on the figure body already, we've got two gripping hands. So these are cool, a little bit stiff, but you can heat those up as the hair dryer instructions always tell us to. We've got some expressive hands. Again, the usual Power Rangers uh, clean suit, dirty gloves. The weathering is really cool on that. And of course, you got her blade blaster over here in the blade slash daggerish form. What's cool is you get two of these things. They could have just made a hinge because it's really one weapon, but they decided to give us two. So uh, that's cool. It's more accessories. And here's the blaster version. Again, it looks cool. The paint detail is really cool on here. They didn't just like make a big red gun and throw some paint on it. They put the paint where it's supposed to go. And they did a great job of that. It looks very awesome. Here is her power bow. This looks pretty sweet. It's got some weathering. I can't tell if that's just like sloppy paint or that's intentionally supposed to be weathering on there. Either way, it's still pretty cool. Got a little emblem over there. You can barely make that out. Looks like a little smudgy thing there. There's no, uh, there's no line on this thing or anything like that. You just have to use your imagination. But yeah, looks very cool. Again, great paint detail. Very sweet. This is her main weapon. And you get her gigantic pink arrow. And these arrows, every time she'd always launch it, they'd usually explode stuff, which is pretty cool. You got some explosive arrow going on. So very cool. They didn't have to include this, but they did. Very nice. And here we have the pink ranger figure. Kimberly Ann Hart, played by Amy Jo Johnson. And uh, this looks really cool. The pink is very vibrant on here. You just, it just pops out at you. The helmet is pretty close to the color of the costume here. It looks pretty good. And she's the pterodactyl dinosaur. So she's got that little pterodactyl helmet piece going on there. Nice detail, like the little wings going on there. Looks pretty sweet. The heads are just on like a basic ball joint. So if we get that third party head sculpt, feel free to make those somebody and we can just pop it on. And you got like a silk screen going on here. It feels like silk screen print, like on a t-shirt. Then you have a nice fabric over here. And this fabric is awesome because it's very unrestrictive. It's just a body and then some fabric. And pretty much you can pose away on these guys. There's limits, of course, which is a basic body. I mean, some of these guys can't hold their arms up too high, but that looks pretty good. And it feels pretty sturdy, too. So over here, we got the Morpher belt. Almost looks like a pterodactyl or like a giant crab coming out of a shell or something. I don't know what that is. It looks kind of cool. A little mushy there with the words, but I'm not sure if they intensely did that. I'm waiting for Power Rangers because they officially don't hold the license. So they might have just put some mush on there and make it look good from a distance. We've got our holster over here, which holds her blade blaster and you can slide this around a little bit yeah for gauntlets over here made out a little bit harder plastic and these can slide up and down too to hide the joints when you're posing the figure which is awesome i like when they have stuff that can slide around a little bit you've got her skirt down here unfortunately i have like a little pull down here in the uh little piece down here if you got any kind of hangnail pieces going on and you touch this thing by accident wrong you may get a pull. Unfortunately, mine was out of the box, and you see I can pull it even more almost. There's the back. Very nice. 
the belt, a little bit harder plastic on the belt. You got the skirt, and you got the awesome split cut boots. And again, these gauntlets can slide up a little bit too, the top pieces of the boots. So they can also cover the joint when you're doing some poses. And you got a little bit of dirtyish feet going on down there. Slightly grippy. It's got some a uh, little bit of grippage going on down there, so you don't have to worry too much about the figure sliding around. But split cut is awesome because again, with a Power Ranger figure, you need to be able to move this figure around. You need some dynamic poses because they can hold it, and you don't have to worry about any sort of wrinkling or creases going on because it's just a material. It feels like a it's like less than a t-shirt material. It's like super thin material. So you can pretty much pose away on this. Again, at level, we got the third-party head sculpt. That'll be awesome. Unhelmeted version. Well, they're pretty sweet. Now, let's put her on the turntable. See what kind of poses she can do. Go over some pros and cons. And let me know what you guys think. The Pink Ranger, Kimberly Ann Hart. Played by actress Amy Jo Johnson. She was on the show for, I think, around three years. So she uh, stuck around for quite some time. She commands the Paradactyl Dinozord, or they call it the Pterodon now. I have no idea what something changed. Kind of like Pluto's no longer a planet. Say what? Anyway, she was the, the valley girl in the show, and she was a gymnast. She was always doing some sort of gym thing and teaching dance classes in the middle of a giant place where they also sold like sodas, which always makes sense. You know, you get a little workout in, get yourself a big old soda. Yeah, sure, it sounds good. So, some of the uh, pros and cons on this figure. I don't have any complaints at all about this figure. Just be careful again of um, if your fingernail, you got a little hangnail going on, or you need to trim your nail a tiny bit, something jagged on your fingers, or you know, you're coming out of the cold and your fingers a little bit a little bit hard there. Be, be careful you don't catch anything. You will pull on the outfit and make a little mark. But uh, you say it's battle damaged. So with these guys too, the gripping hands for the weapons are a little bit uh, stiff. So either heat it up a little bit. You can put it in your hand if you want. Close your hand for 30 seconds. That'll pretty much heat it up. I have mine in front of a space heater fan just to uh, heat it up a little bit so it's a bit more malleable. Once you do that, it's no problems at all. Um, yeah, no real cons on this figure at all. And I love how they did these female bodies. These female bodies just hold up really well. The proportions look really good. Uh, double jointed everywhere. Um, they're holding everything, which is really awesome. No problems at all with this. So I'm really digging on this. This is an awesome figure. So again, three zeros putting out a complete set of, you know, actual licensed Power Rangers. So let's see what those guys look like. Hey, please leave a uh, comment below if you're looking to get this figure, want to get this figure, or you're looking to get the three uh, three zero figure. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share with your Power Rangers fans. And again, until the next video, go go Power Rangers.